Hi, I'm Liz with Liz Tove Properties powered by eXp Realty. I'm a residential real estate agent in Raleigh, North Carolina, and today is your real estate market update, and we are at the beginning of October. It is hard to believe we're already into the fourth quarter of 2024. I hope you've had a great year. Uh, today, we're going to talk about what's happened historically in the triangle. Uh, we'll look at data through September. We have preliminary numbers for September, um, but the data is firm for August and earlier in the year. We will look at what's going on today and we'll finish up with some information on the Fed rate cut and what impact that has on mortgage rates and what experts are projecting going forward. So I'm going to share my screen and we will get right into it. I always like to start with the trend lines first and historical data. And I'm going to look at things a little bit differently today. Um, we're going to look at all property types and we're going to just focus on resale homes today and traditional sales. And we're looking at information for Raleigh, Cary, and Durham, because not only do I sell a lot in those three cities, I also those are also the three largest cities in the triangle. Um, and we're also looking at the entire triangle MLS as well. And each data point here is one month's worth of data, and we're looking at one year, year's worth of data. So this starts out with the average sales price. So September preliminary numbers are saying that Raleigh, the average sales price was uh, 500, almost 550,000. It was almost a 12% increase from September of 2023. But you can see when you look at the individual like month over month information, August to September was actually a decline in the average sales price. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see how things proceed going forward for the rest of the year with mortgage rates coming down. But for the most part, for August to September, it's looking like the average sales price was either down or flat. Um, but when you look from July to August, which these numbers are firm, it looks like a little bit of an increase with the exception of um, the entire Triangle MLS and Durham. Uh, so that's the average sales price uh, update as to what's going on recently. I was actually just talking to somebody about who had purchased their home in 2019 um, and looking at what has happened with the average sales price in the triangle in the area over the last five years or since 2019. Um, it's been pretty incredible. So you can see where we were all the way back January 2019, the city of Raleigh, the average sales price was 295000 today or for September. Um, close to 550,000. So uh, this shows that real estate in the triangle is a great investment. I know the pandemic years, we saw huge increases in the average sales price, uh, you know, to the tune of in the teens and up to 20%. Uh, I think in our area, we'll probably go back to a more normal uh, price appreciation, you know, maybe three to 5%, uh, which is a healthy market. I mean, that's a a sign of a healthy real estate market um, when we're going back to that normal level of a price appreciation. Um, and a lot of it really depends on what happens with rates going forward. And we'll talk about that a little later. And then also what happens with inventory, which that takes me into uh, my next slide here, the month's supply of inventory. Um, we'll go back to a one year snapshot. And so you can see when compared to earlier this year, the month supply of homes available for sale has increased quite a bit. So when you look at, let's say, uh, the entire triangle MLS in September, the initial preliminary numbers are saying a 2.3 month supply of homes were available for sale. It's up 9.5 percent when compared to September 2023. Um, you can see it was it dropped a little bit. So 2.4 percent in or 2.4 month supply in August down to 2.3 in September. So you can see since April, March, April, we've seen a steady increase in the month supply of homes available for sale. Now that is great news. It's great news for, news for buyers specifically, because that means there's more homes available for sale in the area. There's more options for you to choose from. And so, you know, you may see some of these percents, percentages, you know, the entire triangle MLS up almost 10%. Raleigh's inventory up 26%. But at the same time, those months supply, that month supply, 2.4, 2.3, 1.5, those are still very low levels of inventory. A normal and balanced market is a six month supply or five to seven months, depending on um, what resource you're using. And we're still a long way away from that. And I think I've shown this in previous mar real estate market updates that we, it's been about a decade since the triangle has seen a six month supply of homes. And again, that's a lot of inventory but it is considered a normal and balanced market. 
one of the good uh, other good points for someone who is a buyer in the market today is the average days on market is go is going up. So this means homes are there's not only are there more homes available for sale, homes are staying on the market a little bit longer. So buyers have a little bit more time to do their investigations, to ask questions about the property. Maybe you go back a second time, take a second look before you make a final decision. Uh, but you can see in April, you know, Raleigh was in an, uh, 18 days on the market. Now this is from the time a home comes on the market as either coming soon or active on the market and available for showings to the time that it goes under contract. And so, you know, Kerry was at 10 days, Durham at 20 days. And what is it, you know, preliminary numbers, uh, Durham at 32 days on the market, Cary 24, Raleigh 28. So almost double compared to, you know, our lowest point here really in April of 2024. So again, good news for buyers in the market today, homes staying on the market a little bit longer, but at the same time, I would still tell you some homes are selling pretty quickly. Uh, so if you are in the market today, you do see a home that you like, you still need to have a sense of urgency because that home might not be on the market by the weekend. Looking at homes available for sale, and I'm gonna take the MLS out of here. So we're just gonna focus on Raleigh, Cary, and Durham. You can see numbers have trended up the last few months, basically since uh, March, we saw our lowest point and we've been trending up every, ever since as far as homes available for sale. And then new listings that are coming on the market, you know, we've seen this kind of trend down a little bit, but that's kind of normal. Uh, we're getting into seasonality, you know, the closer we get to the holidays and that more people kind of wait to put their home on the market until we get through the holidays or we're going to wait for the spring. We have to get the home ready. We have to find another home, that type of thing. So um, some of this is seasonality as well. So that's what's gone on historically in the triangle. What is going on today in the triangle? Uh, and I'll focus on Raleigh, Cary, and Durham. Active and coming soon. So almost just over 2,400 homes available for sale. Now this does include both resale and new construction. And that's one of the things that I would say if you're a buyer in today's market, there are more new construction options available to you and not all the new construction options that are available today are listed in the MLS. So um, just make sure if you're shopping today, you're interested in new construction uh, that you're looking to see, you know, visiting the actual communities or working with an agent who can actually help you determine what is available in each new construction community. Because a lot of times those quick move in homes that get listed, I mean, they could be anywhere from a slab or a crawl space or the foundation starting up to being a completed home. So they're somewhere in the construction process, um, you know, waiting for the right buyer to come along because not everybody can wait six months to build a home and not everybody wants to go through the design center process. Sometimes people find that overwhelming. Um, I know I do. So it's, you know, these quick moving homes can be good options for folks that um, don't want to do that. What is currently under contract? 1,623 homes are currently under contract in Raleigh, Cary, and Durham. And then what has closed? So I'm going to look at September. Preliminary numbers are 874 homes sold and closed in Raleigh, Cary, and Durham. And last year, September 2023, we had 897 homes sold and closed. Uh, combined in those three cities. So we're not far off from where we were last year uh, as far as sales numbers or our sales pace. And so that's what's going on today in the real estate market uh, in the Raleigh, Durham and Cary area. And I'm going to finish up with some slides. So I know I talked about this on my last market update that the time has come for policy adjustment. So um, the feds have reduced the rates. Why did they do that? Well, inflation is finally approaching the target. So that target rate is 2%. As of August, we we're at 2.6%. Um, so we're kind of on a different course of action now with regard to the Fed and what they're doing with the rates. Um, unemployment is still below average, but it has crept up a little bit, um, you know, in the last several months. Um, so that's an indicator that they're also watching. Um, but they did drop the rates. And now Lawrence Yoon, the economist from National Association of Realtors says, you know, it's not a one and done. We'll see several rate cuts going forward. And most economists are projecting three cuts this year. So 77% uh, um, based on a poll are saying that we should see three rate cuts this year alone. Um, and then here's this uh, quote from Lawrence Yoon, Fred's, uh, the Fed's half point rate cut decision is the beginning of six to eight rounds of further rate cuts well into 2025. So um, his projection is the next cut will occur after the presidential election, which is coming up here pretty quick. Um, and the justification is cooling inflation in recent month and lighter job gains. So 
a lot of times folks think that just that when the feds adjust the rates, the mortgage rates immediately drop. And the Fed, the Federal Reserve doesn't just, just uh, doesn't determine fixed mortgage rates, but the policy decisions, you know, weave into the broader economic picture that informs and influences your borrowing costs. So a lot of times, so there was the announcement that the Fed was cutting the rates. And then after they cut the rates, the mortgage rate actually jumped. And so a lot of people were had questions on that, that, you know, some folks I talked to thought that, well, just because the rates, the feds cut the rates, the, the mortgage rates would automatically drop, um, but they don't. The Federal Reserve doesn't set the mortgage rates, they influence the mortgage rates. And so, you know, what are the mortgage rates today? We, I always use Mortgage Daily News. So the 30 year fixed is around 6.25%. Um, so that's just something to keep in mind when you're thinking about when you're hearing on the news that the feds are cutting the rates, it is going to influence the mortgage rates. Um, and so that is just something to be aware of. Mortgage rates are, are coming down. Um, they really peaked in October of last year. Rates were, I think, closer to around 8%. So October 2023. So we're one year later, basically, um, and rates are coming down and they're in, you know, low six territory um, and hopefully projected to continue to come down uh, as we move forward. And what does that mean for a buyer in the market today? So, you know, comparing to April of 2024, you know, the difference in the mortgage, the monthly mortgage payments at, at a 7.52 interest rate compared to 6.15, which is what it was at the time of this. This was late September, September 23rd. The rates were at 6.15%. It's a savings about of about $365 a month with the, the lower interest rate. So if you're in, in the market or you're thinking about getting back into the market, you know, this is something to take, you know, to take into consideration. Rates are lower today. Your mortgage payment is going to be lower. That is going to translate into some savings. We're not going to see the 3%. So if you're waiting for 3%, just because lower there are lower rates does not mean it's going to go back down to 3%. So, um, you know, I think one of the other things is to be realistic about mortgage rates and then not try to necessarily time the market. Timing the market is virtually impossible. Um, and you could, could miss a great opportunity. And the other thing I would say with regard to mortgage rates uh, coming down is, you know, a lot of folks will say, well, I want to wait for the rates to come down uh, and things like that. Well, what do you think all the other buyers are planning on doing too? There's a lot of other people who are also planning to enter the market when rates come down. So the, now is a great time to get ahead of it um, because there's definitely an opportunity now. Rates are lower. As we just saw, inventory is higher and it's staying on the market a little bit longer. So um, that's something to take into consideration in your home search. Um, you know, waiting till next spring or summer uh, should also give you more inventory, but you're going to be likely be up against greater competition. So this kind of goes in with what I was just talking about. And this is per uh, Business Insider. And I thought this was really interesting as well. So more than um, this is showing, you know, more than half homeowners need rates to be under 6% in order for them to be comfortable buying a home this year. So um 52% said that the rate has to be less than 6% in order for them to get back into the market and purchase a home. 47% said less than 5%. I know these percentages don't add up, but respondents could select more than one scenario. So there's probably more answers in here. Um, and that's why the percentages don't match up. But 38% said 4%, 20% uh, said 3%. Um, and 38% said there's really no rate that would make them comfortable. So I thought that was really interesting. So realistically, if rates got under 6%, 52% of buyers said that they would get in the market today. So that's something, If again, we just talked about, if you're waiting for rates to come down, you're going to be facing a lot more competition in the market uh, when you're shopping for a home. Ha um, homeowners less likely to sell due to the rates. So this is something that we've talked about a lot. A lot of homeowners have rates that are less than 4%, less than 5%, and they aren't. They either aren't going to move for a higher rate or they can't afford to move for a higher rate. Um, so this is something that has held up inventory coming onto the market. Uh, so at which mortgage rate, if any, would you be comfortable, would you need to be comfortable selling your home this year? Um, and 35% said the rate had to be less than 6%, 30% said less than 5%. Um, so I thought that was interesting information as well. So as rates come down, you'll probably see more homes come on the market because more people will be comfortable selling their home and making a move. As far as mortgage rate projections, you know, nobody can predict what's going to happen with mortgage rates, but really all the experts, a lot of the experts are projecting that the 30 year fixed is going to continue to come down, which is good news. And then I've, I've 
briefly talked about this and I talked about this in my last real estate market update. And I think it's important to mention again, the hopes for lower interest rates really need that reality check that lower does not mean 3%. So hopefully that information is helpful for you. Um, if you have questions on buying or selling a home in the triangle, don't hesitate to reach out. If you want information that's specific to your neighborhood, feel free to reach out to me. I'm happy to provide information for your neighborhood, your city, uh, your subdivision, anything like that. Uh, if you're thinking about relocating to the Raleigh area, uh, don't you check out my YouTube channel. Welcome to Raleigh. Um, I'm, there's a lot of great resources on there. There's more videos like this about the real estate market. There's buyer tips, seller tips, uh, city tours, community tours. It's a great resource if you really want to learn about what's going on in the Raleigh Durham area. And finally, I wanted to mention, um, I know a lot of folks were impacted by um, what has gone on in the western part of our state with the uh, hurricane and all the flooding and the dev devastation is pretty massive. Um, so I would encourage you to check out my Facebook page. On um, uh, Friday, we're going to be posting, Friday, October 4th, we're going to be posting, um, you know, all the resources of how you can help. Um, a lot of people don't know how to help or you, maybe you can't get somewhere, um, but there's going to be different resources with regard to where you can donate money, where you could drop supplies. There's things that you can do from home, even, you know, calling people. Um, you know, there's a lot of resources and things available that you can do without ever leaving your home. So uh, be sure to check out my Facebook page for that. Um, I'll put a link below so that you can just link right to it. Um, but that post, uh, we're going to put that out on Friday just as a, a way to help people figure out, you know, a way to get involved or a way to help and make it as easy as possible. So, uh, and those of you who have been impacted, uh, you know, I, thoughts and prayers are with you and your family. So I look forward to talking to you again soon and I hope you have a great day.